sky-high bills that today soared further. Energy bills up more than 100%. BP has reported the second highest profit in its history. UK inflation has hit its highest level in almost 30 years. Last week we heard from Royal Dutch Shell and they had massive profits too. Food prices hitting a high not seen since records began. It's been a record Christmas again for the supermarket giant Sainsbury's. Last summer's heat waves are still biting, this time into food supplies. Fruit and veg aisles are increasingly bare. Gas-heated greenhouses have been affected by the huge rise in energy prices. The two American oil giants, ExxonMobil and Chevron, they've also announced massive profits. Bills are still expected to rise by 20%. Some fear they'll never leave home as rents soar. This guy is spending £13,000 just to heat the water in his swimming pool. Enough is enough! <laughs> food crisis, the energy crisis and the housing crisis are all deeply interconnected and so the solutions that we find for them have to be interconnected as well. We know the money, sir! We demand our share! We know the money, sir! We demand our share! Prices of things that you can't really avoid buying. It's really shot up over the last 12, 18 months or so. Now, a large part of that is the product of climate change. It's the product of a profit-making system where we burnt fossil fuels for a long period of time. It's damaged the whole planet, and now we're having to carry the cost of this. Union power! Union power! This has been building for years and years and years. Everybody's getting fed up the way they're being treated. There's people destitute out there. There's people on the streets. There's, there's people that can't afford their heating. They can't afford to eat. There's all these major issues that are now spiralling out of control. 